Hi, I'm Sarah Boyson from beginnerbookkeeping.com. A few years ago, my daughter became very ill, and a few months after that, my husband broke his back. Fortunately, because of my online business, I was able to quit my full-time job to look after them. This is my story. You just can't predict or underestimate the impact that a well-structured, focused online business with Solo Build It can have on your life for years to come. And the good news is that Sarah's experience was no fluke. As you watch the video, you'll see exactly how she did it. Hello, I'm Paul Buckingham, roving ambassador for Solo Build It. Thanks to her commitment and Solo Build It's rock-solid education and support, Sarah is just one of thousands of real people living real lives who are enjoying the benefits of a successful online business with Solo Build It. And you can too. But don't make the same mistake that she made. It took her years to find Solo Build It that lost income and the lost time could actually have well meant that she was in an even better position than she is now. Well, bookkeeping is not that exciting a subject. It takes a pretty um, interesting and dedicated person to get involved in it in the first place. Can you explain to me how it became an online business for you? Sure. Um, in the early 2000s, I did a template in Excel um, because I'm big on budgeting for the family. And I uploaded this template to Microsoft's um, template library online. And it got about 200,000 downloads. And I said to my husband, wow, you know, if every one of those people paid me a dollar, I could be earning a really nice income from this online template. So then I thought, well, I need to find out a way of maybe doing my own website and uploading the template to that and see how it goes. But obviously, I knew nothing about running a website or any of that. So I did some research and I found just one of those generic um, businesses that offer free websites and it was pretty ugly and there was no information on how to do anything but other than uploading um, content or uploading the videos or anything else that people wanted to do. So I uploaded my template and I did about five pages of content and I waited and there was nothing, no visitors, no nothing for weeks. And I just realized then that there was obviously a lot more to having a website online than I realized and to get visitors to come to it. Right. So um, then I researched and I came across Solo Build It, which was called um, Site Build It back then. And I became really excited because I realized this is actually, this could work for me. And that's how I got started into it. So what is it that you found that really made the difference for Solo Build It, that really resonated with you when you were first looking for it? It was the action guide, certainly. Um, the action guide was just so full of information about how to do everything. And it was laid out step by step so that I knew if I just followed each step, it would work. Um, yeah, that action guide is amazing. That's, that's really what got me hooked into it. So what role did the action guide have in your in your planning? Well, it pointed me on how to find keywords, which I didn't know about when I had originally done that original and ugly website. I didn't know that you had to have keywords to drive visitors to the website. And obviously those keywords are what people search for on the internet when they're going onto their browser and they search a particular word. So I had to base um, what I had chosen to do, which was bookkeeping, around the keywords that were popular. And SBI, or Solo Build It, helped me um, figure out which keywords were most used at the time and um, which ones would give me the best results. And that's how I slowly built my content pages around those keywords. So what does having an online business mean to your life now then? So a couple of years ago, when I was still working six hours a day and working on the online business in the evening, my daughter um, suffered some ill health. And so trying to balance the job and balance helping her out did take quite a, a strain and stress on me and on my own health. So 
that was when I decided to resign from my job and work fully on the website because I was earning enough income at that time to be able to do that. And, you know, that was just great. It was great to be able to be there for my daughter. And then a couple of months later, my husband broke his back. So <laughs> so I had to help him out as well. So it was really good timing. <laughs> That's an extraordinary sequence of events. I hope they're okay now. Oh, they're all fine now. <laughs> right. And thanks to you, perhaps, the fact that you were able to dedicate some time. Yes, exactly. And still be earning income at the same time. Um, even though I was working less on the website than I wanted to, I was still bringing in the same amount of income. So there was no loss of income. What I'm interested in is, is how you knew it was working like what what was a sign that you suddenly went this is actually gonna work um well first of all it was when i saw the traffic building every month so if we go back to that original ugly website that i had done there was like zero traffic but with um solo build it my traffic was increasing every month and it was really exciting um, so when I started in March 2011, I had about 20 visitors for the whole month and I was excited just to have 20 visitors, but that yeah. slowly increased and a year later in the, in the same month, I had about 1500 visitors every month and um, now in March 2018, it's 75,000 visitors for the month. So. That was one factor. It was just really exciting to see that people from all over the world are coming to visit and I can help all those people with their bookkeeping questions. And the yeah. other factor was when I um, placed Google AdSense or Google Advertising onto the website and started earning a few dollars a day from that. That was really exciting to know that, look, I'm earning income from this now. And so that right. kept me going. And even my husband, every day, he would say, how much did you get today? <laughs> and we would imagine what it would be like if it was more. And I would look in the budget <laughs> and see what it would be like if I had more. Um, so, yeah, that was the exciting thing. He got the benefit as well because I was able to buy him a new um, motorbike. <laughs> right. Yeah, we save petrol because it uses less yeah. petrol than a vehicle. Of course, of course, of course. I like that justification. So, so, so the, then the, the, the fun thing, though, is, is knowing how this translates in terms of, of actual dollars that you're creating. I mean, you mentioned Google AdSense. Is there sort of a big picture average that you can provide? Because, it, of course, it does go up and down. It does go up and down, and I do find that in the months of January and February, that is when it's up, and then it sort of slowly goes down for the rest of the year. And um, I would say on average, I get between four to five thousand a month on average. Okay, and are there are there other sort of monetization methods that you have? Because that's nice, but it's not you know all that's possible. I do have an affiliate account with a um, person who does bookkeeping course online in America and um, I get an average about $500 a month from that. I also have another, a few small affiliate links to um, online software but they don't bring in very much but it's something. Right. Do you have any other source of of traffic and relationship building other than the free organic traffic that you'd get from Google? Yes, I um, use Pinterest a lot and I get about probably on average um, 5,000 visitors a month from Pinterest. I love Pinterest, I love the visualness of it and I love creating pins and um, people are interested in using, you know, using Pinterest and I've had a lot of uh, traffic from that. So Sarah, you've already mentioned the value of the action guide and how critical it was to the success of your online business. Has there been any other part of the, the solo build it arsenal, if you like, of tools that you've drawn on that have really drawn your attention and you've gone, wow, this is brilliant? It was Site Designer, which is the, um, the format for building the actual website. Um, even though I'm a bookkeeper, I do have a creative side. And so I love being able to design my pages and the colors and 
the logo and you know everything to do with formatting and fonts. Site Builder provides everything you need all in that one system without having to get a gazillion and one other plugins like with other Site Builder programs out there. Um, so I have really grown my site just using Site Builder and really loving that. Interesting. So did you, you design your own site from a template, did you? Yes, I've probably used about three different templates over the years. I've changed it a few times. And um, yeah, just use the template within Site Build It. I can imagine somebody watching this right now, listening and going, I don't have any coding experience. This sounds technical to me. Too hard. You like, tell me your level of experience before you started this little journey. Um, I had no idea other than that original ugly website that I'll keep talking about. Um, <laughs> But that was completely different. It's very different to use that compared to Solo Build It. I found um, SBI's site designer easier to use. And, you know, there's help pages all along the way. So if you get stuck and not sure what to do, you can look at the help pages. Or you can go onto the forum and ask a question if you get stuck. Um, I find it very easy to use. I mean, not everybody is technically and computer minded and they might find it a bit of a challenge, but if you take a bit of time, you know, once you start doing something again and again, it just becomes familiar and it's no problem. You can do it without thinking. <laughs> you learn a lot and um, it's fun. I, lo I love it. It's a lot of fun as well. And fun to earn income. Who could ask for anything better than that? You're having fun while you're working.